Students and teachers from high schools in Rowan County, North Carolina are engaged in a new project that seeks to bring science and math concepts alive through agriculture. They are taking a leap from their textbooks to hands-on learning at an outdoor laboratory with access to world-class researchers. It's an exciting mix of commitment, cooperation, and creativity when it comes to the project partners. North Carolina State University at the North Carolina Research Campus, high schools in Rowan County, and the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Piedmont Research Station. The aim is to highlight what professional scientists do in the realm of agricultural research while involving students in production-based educational programming. They believe they have created a model for schools across the state and nation. We get the students involved in kind of the front end of a research project, so we discuss the concepts of uh, the, how we generate a hypothesis and what's involved in thinking about where's our problem and what do we think are some of the logical, biological questions that we can ask. Now once we have our question formulated, we take them out into the field and show them how we develop the experiment, it set it up in the field so we can apply our statistics to those trials to then come up with probabilities that say these are our potential answers to the problem. When Dr. Jeremy Pattison first arrived at the North Carolina State University Plants for Human Health Institute, greenhouse facilities were unavailable. A local high school offered a portion of its greenhouse to Dr. Pattison for his research program. The effort instantly involved students in a real-life research project. It also extended to getting the students out on the farm at the Piedmont Research Station to learn about the full scope of Dr. Pattison's strawberry breeding program. As a result, the Piedmont Research Station currently hosts nearly 175 students and their teachers each week. The research group is helping the teachers and the school systems uh, add breadth to the education that the young folks are receiving. The young people are actually doing applied research, actually helping us collect data here at this research station. They're also learning life skills, such as commitment, such as being a dependable part of a team, uh, problem solving. Uh, all of these things will impact their development as they go on into whatever career they choose to follow. The partnership that we were able to put together with Piedmont Research Station and Dr. Pattison from NC State has, has been a, an excellent way to enhance our, our teaching in our class because we've been able to take uh, the fundamentals we're teaching in the classroom and actually put them into practice out here in, in the field. So we've, we've been growing strawberries the last few years and we can cover topics as far as plant nutrition, we can do the, the plant physiology and growth of the plant and some diseases that these plants have. And these students can get a hands-on approach on some of these concepts rather than just seeing those in the classroom and through a textbook. I've learned that there are so many different more varieties of strawberries than I realized. Dr. Patterson brings a young aspect to it, whereas I thought most scientists were just older people. And so it's definitely interesting to listen to a younger person talk about different plants. He brings very good energy to it. Our students have the opportunity to work with world-renowned scientists and this just expands their abilities to learn and it expands our teachers' abilities to find new ways to incorporate farming into everyday life. Science indeed can be inspiring. South Rowan High School student Haley Shore drew inspiration from a speech Dr. Pattison delivered to develop her own presentation on strawberries for a future Farmers of America competition. Dr. Pattison came to our school to speak to us about uh, what he did with the strawberries and that really sparked my interest seeing like the scientific side of strawberries and then how he was encouraging like um, more sensory pleasing strawberries to get that really big good strawberry that everybody wants and it having a lot of nutrients in it. So I wrote my speech on like how to bridge nutrition and agriculture and I kind of got the science in and then the hands on end of like the agriculture part. Teachers have embraced this opportunity to enhance their professional development at the research station. They help design seminars by identifying topics they want to learn more about, whether it's the latest research in genomics, plug propagation in greenhouses, or how an industry leader may market a new agricultural product. 
teachers learn from those directly involved. I think it's a great opportunity for us as agriculture teachers to network with NC State and the research campus and the research station because we learn too as teachers and I think that's important for us that we're continually learning and we're learning about new research and new scientific evidence and new technologies that, that are utilized in agriculture. What Dr. Pattison is doing is trying to gain a strong network between NC State and our high school and the research campus and the research station. And I think there's opportunities for other agricultural groups across our state to have these same type of networks. And so I hope that we can serve as a model for other ag teachers and other agricultural organizations to see how they can work together to better the teachers, to better the students, and to better agriculture. This project fits perfectly within North Carolina State's land-grant mission of research, education, and extension. Dr. Pattison views it as a unique opportunity to reach out to students locally. I think the research station offers the opportunity to highlight production skills that we all have learned in the garden at one point in time, to the mathematics, the science, and even some of the new fields of science that, that we can expose them to in terms of the genomics proteomics and some of the other really high-powered data information science technology skills that we use to make us better scientists that drive those those new innovations in agriculture. So when we work with one student we impact one student but when we work with a teacher now we impact all of the students that, that work with that individual teacher. We can envision this type of educational research approach being translated out all the way throughout the state the, the region and throughout the country. Using agricultural research is a creative way to engage students in STEM education. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. In addition to incorporating math and science skills, the project has a community service aspect to it. We have received a Food for All grant through the Howard Buffett Foundation and we have planted a, a garden with a, a lot of different variety of, of crops and we're taking those crops and donating them to Main Street Mission, a local food bank and a Unity Meals on Wheels program, Unity Mobile Meals. The mission serves about 350 families per month. A North Carolina cooperative extension program known as the Produce Lady is sharing healthy recipes and other resources with the mission to provide ideas on how to prepare this fresh produce. It's wonderful to see the smiles on their faces when you tell them and show them the produce that we have to give to them. I get very excited when I see the high school students get involved through the school activities or on their own with the mission and when they actually come in and see the mission and see how we serve food and the needs here, they don't always see the needs um, of folks in the community up close and personal. One of the next phases is to get students into the labs at the North Carolina Research Campus. In addition, David Overcash, who serves as president-elect of the North Carolina Ag Teachers Association, hopes to use his platform to share information about the program with other teachers across the state. But what it really takes is a strong group of people that are committed, that take the, the leadership roles to implement these types of activities. And, and if it weren't for the support that we get at the North Carolina Department of Ag Research Station, specifically here at Piedmont Research Station, and then also and probably more importantly is the support that we get from our local high school teachers. I think the key to it working is that you have to have people that are willing to think about non-traditional ways of accomplishing our jobs. We're all faced with limited and reducing resources. The schools have that challenge. The university has that challenge. This station has that challenge. If we can reach out and find ways that we can all benefit from programs, make the programs better, not sustain the programs, but make them better innovatively, then that's what we need to be doing. And I think this program exemplifies that approach.